Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue. I'm going to be showing you just a few things today. I have this tank here that I've drawn. In uh, 2019, you'll have this little uh, handy uh, shortcut uh, link to the views. You just basically just click here and then you have all your views. Uh, you also have a shortcut to the um, a different um, rendering outputs. Uh, so that's also pretty handy. Let me show you a quick way of creating a what's called a flat shot of this model that we have here. It's kind of like a projection utility. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So let's create a flat shot of the top view of this uh, tank. So we're just going to type in flat shot and we're going to select the surfaces and here we can show the uh, dash lines as well, the, all the hidden lines in the model. So I have that checked. And tangential edges I have checked as well. And I'm just going to be inserting it as a block. So I'm going to hit the Create button. And that creates this block here, which I'll just insert. And now it wants the scale factor. I'll hit Enter three times. Rotation as well. So now we have um, a 2D flat shot of this. If I view it from isometric, uh, it is a totally flat 2D drawing there. How do I separate the dash lines, let's say, and put them on another layer? I wanted to show you another tool that's available in order to do that. It's called Filter. So here I'm going to select the filter, which will be line type, and then I'm going to select dash 2. If you remember in the uh, flat shot, this was the line type that I set the hidden lines to. So I want this one. And I will add to list. So don't forget to do this. And then click apply. And I'll put a box around this here. Now it's only selected the dash entities there. And here you can see that it is found 642 entities. Now I can come over to the layer command and then I'll move these to the hidden layer, which is just a layer called hidden there. So essentially I've just moved all the hidden lines to that layer. And I can check that by going into my Home tab, Layers, coming down, and then turning this layer off. If I go into my, um, turn that the hidden layer back on again. If I want to control the spacing of these hidden lines, I can type in LT Scale, which is right here. Right now my scale is set to 30, but let's say if I wanted to make the dash lines a little bit um, closer together, I could uh, type in 25, for example, and that controls that spacing there. Well, let's say if we wanted to just edit the area in here and kind of clean it up here, um, we need to lock the zero layer so we don't disrupt it. Um, so we'll come down, we'll choose the locked icon here and then that way we can just erase all the hidden lines in here without affecting the uh, layer zero. You go into the options menu there's this fade options here and I have this set to zero so I'm not actually uh, changing the color of my layer uh, to show that I have a layer locked. But you can do that. You can change this, let's say, to a 1, let's say. And what that does is it slightly dims the lock layer. But in a way it's kind of confusing because you think that everything is on the dash layer. So I have that uh, uh, turned off, but perhaps you want to, uh, to turn it on. It's just a preference thing.
So now that I uh, have that, I could I could unlock this layer if I wanted to. Uh, go back to normal mode. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Feel free to uh, email or call me at 888-271-7121. Thanks and have a great day.